Welcome to a new video on my channel, guys. This is Smart Hormones and Longevity. And in today's videos, I'm gonna tell you everything about human growth hormone. Well, not really everything, because I need a series of videos to tell you all the secrets on how to build permanent muscles with growth hormone. Before going any further with this video, I feel like I have to make a disclaimer, which is the same disclaimer or similar one that I make in other videos too. I'm not a doctor. Everything that I discuss in these videos about growth hormone as well as anabolic steroids or testosterone is not really medical advice. It's only for entertainment or education. Let me tell you the reasons why it is always preferable to use growth hormone for building muscles than anabolic steroids or testosterone. Let's start now with reason number one. First of all, human growth hormone doesn't suppress your own testosterone, and this is by far the best reasons why you should use it. If it doesn't suppress your own testosterone, this is obviously great news, and it means that at the end of your cycle, once you have built new extra muscles with the help of this hormone, you're going to be able to maintain those gains very easily with your own testosterone. Sometimes you hear other influencers who talk about using anabolic steroids and testosterone saying that you can first of all, during a long period of time, build a lot of muscles with the help of steroids and testosterone by doing blast and cruise, cycles, whatever, and then eventually, when you want to retire from this type of therapy, you can go to TRT and maintain those muscles with a very low dosages. But the same token, when we talk about the relationship between growth hormone and your own testosterone, the things are very similar because if growth hormone doesn't suppress your own testosterone, it means simply that if you are able to build muscles with growth hormone without touching and lowering your own test, then eventually at the end of your cycle with your own testosterone, you are certainly able to maintain those gains. Of course, we're not talking here about crazy gains, like for instance, 20 plus kilos of muscles. We're talking about between five, seven, or maybe eight kilos of muscles. And then of course, this is not all you can build. When you use my protocol, you can also go above and behind that and build more muscles. To be completely honest with you guys, I never know if those people are telling the truth or lying because some of them really went above 20 kilos of extra muscles during their cycles. And to me, it seems kind of difficult that then, at some point in their lives, they reduce their intake to 200, 250 milligrams per week, and then with that much, they can maintain all of the extra muscles. Most likely, this is not true. Most likely, there are either two options. Option number one, once in a while, they run more cycles so they can go easily back up to their same level. Or they simply settle for less muscles, which is not a tragedy. Even if during their golden era, they had 25 muscles more than their genetic limits, and then eventually when they are on TRT, they go down to 17, 18 kilos. To me, this is also an amazing result. But anyway, back to growth hormone. The second reason why you should absolutely consider growth hormone when you want to build your muscles is that there isn't really much to suppress. If you think about it carefully, after you turn 25, 27, 30 years old, the production of your own growth hormone, it's so low that it's barely noticeable. You still produce growth hormone even in your 60s and 70s, but very low quantities. It's not as easy to suppress growth hormone than it would be to suppress your own endogenous testosterone. The reason number three why you should always pick growth hormone above anabolic steroids to build your muscles, your extra muscles, it's because the way you build your muscles perfectly respects human physiology. With anabolic steroids, as I've already explained in a previous video, you don't have that luxury, unfortunately, because the way they work, they build up in your bodies for a few weeks and then eventually they release their potency. And from week number four to week number whatever, usually eight or nine, because then the progress is slowed down considerably, you build the bulk of your muscles during that given cycle. And at that point, it's very hard to build muscles that are real and not made up of water retention. With growth hormone, you don't have this problem because it's so slow but steady that eventually you're gonna build one or two kilos of muscles per month. Of course, within my protocol, you run very low dosages of growth hormone. Small dosages means usually around 
two international units per day or less. Sometimes you can go above that level, but it depends on the circumstances. Reason number four, obviously the results are permanent for the very same reason that I explained before. When you finish your cycle, you can maintain all of your gains simply with your own testosterone and your lifestyle. Don't forget that you can't possibly believe that you stop taking growth hormone and then eventually you don't even work out, you don't follow a strict diet anymore, and then you maintain your gains. This is obviously delusional. You have to always maintain your lifestyle. You work out, you try not to drink alcohol. I know this is not easy for some of us. You sleep, you do everything you can, and then eventually you will maintain those gains. And because also your own testosterone helps you. Reason number five, using human growth hormone actually brings also additional benefits. It can help increase bone density, Therefore, you can decrease the risk of fractures and osteoporosis. Fat loss. Actually, human growth hormone also makes a big contribution for you to lose your fat. And there will be another video in the future in which I talk about this in details. Growth hormone also helps improve the quality of your skin through an improved thickness, elasticity, and overall appearance. Growth hormone also helps you recover from injuries. There is a much faster healing that you can have after you've had an accident, any sort of injury, even after surgery. Another reason, increased energy levels. Now, this is something that a lot of people experience while they are on growth hormone. You have way more energy and you feel really rejuvenated and more vital. Also, some studies suggest that when you use growth hormone, you can have improved cognitive function. HGH therapy can have a positive impact overall on your cholesterol levels and blood pressure. Reason number six, the amount of side effects is minimal, close to zero. Another positive side effects that comes with the use of growth hormone is actually improved quality of your sleep. Growth hormone is actually crucial for sleep. In some cases, some doctors also suggest that you should take growth hormone before going to sleep. If you want to experience this and if you want to improve also anabolism throughout the night. Now, in general, I don't really follow this piece of advice. I much prefer taking growth hormone first thing in the morning as soon as you get up and then after a little while you can have breakfast. But I'm going to be talking about how to inject your growth hormone and where, how, when and everything in different videos. This was all for today. This was actually only an introduction to human growth hormone. And let me remind you that in the future, I intend to run a Patreon channel where I want to upload more juicy content with real case examples and really how you are supposed to use human growth hormones in details. I'll see you in the next video.